Hello again. Yes, it's me, Dalton from the Van Bros. I'm back, this time, with Darkface Gridoro. Check it, here we go. Alright, starter, outstanding mutant, Prombu Larva. Skill, you can't bless one to put it in his soul. At the beginning of your ride phase, pay the cost. If you do, you draw a card and rest all of your opponent's units. You run this card because uh, it helps out with soul for Gridora and just extra draw, really. Nothing too crazy. Four of the new Dark Face Gridora. Her skill. Once per turn, you kind of last one. She's, she's placed on the Vanguard Circle, or when your G unit stride, pay the cost. If you do, choose a column, and your opponent cannot call cards to that rear guard circle in that column during the next turn. And then GB1, so bless one at the beginning of your ride phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, your opponent chooses a face-up card in his or her damage zone, turns the face down, and then you counter charge. The card is amazing. It uh, prevents your opponent from, like, it stuns columns, it, you know, prevents a lot of attacking. It's just, it controls your opponent so much. And the fact that it can make them lose their own counter blast and then you just benefit off of it, it's crazy. Four, Dark Face Alcides, Alcides, I don't know, whatever the, whatever you wanna say, he looks cool, that's all that matters. His skill, Counter Blast One, Soul Blast One, when he's placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard, pay the cost, you choose a column, rest all of your opponent's rear guards in that column, and they cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. Then, Continuous Vanguard or Rear Guard Circle, G GB2, Dark Device, during the battle that he attacks, he gets 10,000 and your opponent cannot intercept. So this guy is insane. He's your big beat stick of the deck. You want him on the rear guard at all times. You never want to ride this because Gridor is obviously way better. So. And then on to grade twos, we got four dangerous horn. He's similar to the overlord grade two. When he's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard Circle, choose a card from your hand, reveal it. If neither, neither that card nor your Vanguard have Darkface in his name, he gets minus 5,000 till end of turn. Then continuous, if you have a Grade 4 Vanguard with Darkface in his card name, and the number of opponent's Rearguards, stand Rearguards, is one or less, he gets plus 6,000. So, again, he's just like the other Darkface. Huge numbers. That's what he's for. Just a beat stick. Then four Bulgwasp. His skill, GB1, Dark Device. When he's placed on rear guard until end of turn, he gets plus two. Then, if the number of face down cards in your opponent's damage zone is two or more, rest all of your opponent's units, and he gets plus 5,000. So, all these new cards, they can just hit for big numbers. He rests everything, and yeah, good stuff. Grade two, Sweet Cocktail. I mean, I wanted to run the, uh, other one when he's on place you stun and he does the same thing but it's only on place in this one if you if you can if you're able to keep it there you can keep doing this skill over and over which is counter blast one when it attacks if it's boosted choose one of your opponent's rear guards rest it and then that unit gets this skill at the end of the turn if it's at rest like you draw a card so when the opponent's unit is still at rest at the end of their turn i uh, you draw a card and it can't intercept and it cannot stand during their next stand phase. So it stuns, it locks, it can lock down a column unless they get rid of it, and then you have potential draw at the end of the turn. Then we get three new Twilight Matter. This guy's really good. Dark device, when he boosts, if you have a grade four Vanguard or Dark Face, you may have him get 3,000 until end of battle. If you do, then at the end you put him into the soul. You draw a card and put him in the soul. So another card that helps out with soul and it draws, so. And put this behind uh, Dark Face Alcatiz, and it swings for big numbers. Three of the Vulcan. Skill, GB1 Dark Device. Put him in the soul at the beginning of your main phase. You may pay the cost if you do counter charge. Just like Twilight Matter, helps out with soul in the deck. And then if you're having counter charge problems, or just, yeah. And then continuous, you have a Vanguard Dark Face in the same. This unit cannot be chosen by the effects of your opponent's cards and your opponent's units. In the same column as this unit, can I intercept? So basically it gets like resist and prevents intercepting, which is great because some, there's some cards that stun, but the opponent's still able to intercept. So if he's in the column, it kind of just gets rid of all that. Or stride fodder because you need to stride. And if you have Dark Face Alcatiz in your hand and you don't have Gridora, you just play this guy and get your Gridoras. 
and four of the new perfect guard. Well, a bunch of new perfect guards from the zoo booster. His skill is an act from the drop zone. You choose two of him from your drop zone and bind them. Choose two copies of himself and you bind them face up. You draw a card and counter charge or soul charge. So this guy's like everything in one card. He lets you draw. You can, and then you can counter charge or soul charge depending on what you need. Four of the new critical. This thing is amazing. The skill, you return it to the deck, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase, and then shuffle the deck. I've been waiting for a trigger like this. We finally got it because it has recycle, and it can just stun. So it's more stun potential. So we're playing a total of eight criticals, just the generic crit. If you have a Vanguard or Dark Face, put him in the soul. It gets 5k until end of battle, and then you draw. Four stand triggers, because the deck with uh, Overwhelm and just Dark Face Alcatraz or Dangerous Horn can get really high in numbers. So if you drive check the stand trigger, just multi-attack for big numbers, really aggressive. GB1 Dark Device, put it into the soul at the end of each turn. You may pay the cost if you do counter charge, choose one of your opponent's grade one or less units, and that unit cannot stand during your opponent's next stand phase. Again, there's so many new, there's so many cards that can just go into the soul, counter charge, it just fixes all your problems. And yet again, another card that does the same thing. The new heal triggers. Skill, you bind this card face up and choose another card with heal from the drop zone and bind the face up. When it's discarded from your hand for the cost of a G Guardian, you counter charge or soul charge. So, yep, yeah, pretty much this deck has all the resource. And now for the G zone, of course, you play the one Zoa. You're always going to be playing one Zoa in each of the zoo decks because it's. It's just there, it's, an, you know, it's an option. It has potential to win you the game, or you know, you just toss your G-Zone across. Yeah, he's just kind of there. Now this is where it gets real. We got three of the new GR Overwhelm. This card is, well, you know, overwhelming. Hate to do that, but you know. Can't have left one, choose a face down card from your G-Zone and turn the face up. Draw the same number of cards as the number of your opponent's rest rear guards. And if the number of your opponent's rest rear guards is one or less, this unit gets plus one critical, plus one drive. So on first stride, it has a chance to do quad drive and gain a crit. So, you know, that can be pretty dangerous. GB3, Dark Device, all of your units get plus 2,000 for each face down card in your opponent's damage zone. So, yeah, as the, say like late game, all of your opponent's like, cards are face down this thing will be given huge numbers to everything and it just lets you draw so much it's just all around an amazing card now this is what's interesting I play four of the uh, grade four dark face reason for this is uh, when I go into overwhelm I can just flip this guy face up so go into overwhelm say like three times then you go into this guy and then you can use his skill and then a plus for each of the other ones face up and you'll see why because his skill, you kind of bless one, choose a face down card from your G zone, turn it face up. Choose up the same number of your opponent's rear guards as the number of face up cards of himself in the G zone. And until end of turn, they get, they can't intercept and can't be chosen by card effects or costs. And for each rear guard chosen with this effect, he gets plus 5,000. So that's how you can see a little combo there because with Overwhelm, you know, you flip all three. Go into this guy one time flip something and he's getting plus 15 so he can swing for a big number it's just it's just there and one up to Randis. I want to bump this up to two but I kind of traded uh, one away so yeah but yeah this card's amazing his skill GB2 counter plus two choose a card from your hand discard it your opponent cannot call his or her units to rear guard until end of your opponent's next turn he or she cannot superior call as well so this thing basically is just like Gridor, but insane. Just completely stops everything your opponent wants to do. I mean, the cost is pretty heavy, but you know, it's worth it to keep your opponent controlled. Then one GB8, I've won so many games with this thing. It's just, it's crazy. GB8, all of your opponents, vanguards and rear guards lose their auto abilities and cannot intercept. All of your units gets plus 5,000 for each of your opponents rested vanguards and rear guards. So all of your units are swinging for insane numbers, and then, like, say if they have a defensive skill like Gurgwit, those won't work. 
Then one new guy. I don't even know what his name is. Anguish Sword. Okay. Once per turn, Dark Device. Counterblast one. Choose up to the same number of your units as the number of rest opponents rest units, and they get plus four thousand to lend a turn. If you choose three or more cards, draw a card and counter charge. So he's pretty good. Most of the time, I'm just gonna be flipping this thing because I'm going to overwhelm first stride, but even still. All right, when we play one Scarabigus, yeah. If your opponent has two or more rested units, he gets plus five until the end of turn. Two of the new G Guardian. It's skill. When this unit is placed on Guardian Circle, if the number of your opponents for stand rear guards is two or less, this unit gets plus 10,000. So basically, the best G guard we have. And then, we got this new, this other one, Grice Fort. <laughs> Counterblast 1 was placed on Guardian Circle during the battle that your Vanguard was attacked by your opponent's Vanguard. You may pay the cost. Rest all of your opponent's units in the back row, and this unit gets plus 5,000 for every two of your opponent's units in rest until end of the battle. So it's kind of like the uh, defeat flare, except, you know, it doesn't retire them, kind of just stuns them. So it, it can it, it can hurt what they're trying to do and give you some good power, but you know, this is, this is, the, this is the one we needed. It's good stuff here. All right, fellas, that's pretty much it. Gridora, it's good, yeah.